In this week's parasha, parasha Chukat, we are told that, af that after being refused passage by from Edom, and after the war with, with Malach Arad, that Bnei Yisrael go, or travel from our heart around the perimeter of Edom. And we're told that there they grow impatient on the road. What is the reason for this impatience? So the Abarbanel suggests have several reasons. Among them, that by sending, sending a delegation to Edom, it was, they, sh they showed a weakness on their part, that they needed their permission, and that by, this was compounded by their re refusal to, uh, to engage when Edom went out to fight with them. Another reason, he suggests, is that the fact that they had, a f had to travel backwards to go towards Har Har, away from Eretz Yisrael, it seemed to them that this is a sign that this might be another generation like the Meraglim, who were doomed to wander around and then die in the desert. However, when we look at the way they express this, this complaint, they're told that they say, uh, sending us from Egypt to, to die in the desert, he ain't lechem the ain't mayim, that there's no bread and water. How does this express those, those issues? So the Rebuchor Shor suggests that from the fact that they were going backwards and were stuck in the, in the, in the Midbar, they would be in a place that doesn't have bread or water. The problem, it would seem, is that even though they had a valid complaint, and somebody they were entitled to go and tr tr at least try to, to get some understanding of why they were, they were doing what, these things, the way that they expressed these problems were, were fundamentally problematic. Because by saying, uh, by challenging Moshe's, Moshe's leadership and saying, Ki en lachem ve'en mayim, they gave no road for this solution to be resolved. How is, how is Moshe supposed to know that their issue is that they're going backwards. I think this is, is a lesson that we can apply to our everyday lives. That when we have some sort of problem, that we should try to address our discontent in a way that is able to, to be constructive, to help resolve the situation and help improve afterwards, rather than in a way that will only make things worse.